Jen Hartley, Creative Learning. Hey teachers, I have so much to share with you in terms of tips and resources that can correspond with my music videos. So make sure you click the link below that'll take you straight to my store on Teachers Pay Teachers. I wanna share with you my first lesson plan that corresponds with my song, Vowels in Every Word. So welcome to my brand new store on Teachers Pay Teachers. Once you click the link below, come on over and follow me so that you are always aware of new products that I'm posting. And of course, download your free copy of the Vowels in Every Word Shared Reading Packet. It has everything that you need to implement a week-long lesson that corresponds with my song, Vowels in Every Word. So you're gonna get a PDF over here and it has live links so all you need to do to access the song is just come on over here and click it it'll take you straight there you also have two different options for lyrics pages you have one with illustrations and one without there's a customizable lesson plan so you can really make it your own and a common core standards checklist for kindergarten and first grade ela standards that correspond with this lesson Okay, this is the lyrics page for your kiddos. You can print this out and give them a copy for their book baggies or their shared reading folders or notebooks, however you do it. And if you are wondering right off the bat what's going on with these squiggly lines here, it'll make sense when you hear the song and when you take a look at the lesson plan. But essentially the song goes, a says A and A, and the squiggly line is there for kids to actually trace their fingers over as they're elongating that short vowel sound. We know that kinesthetic movement combined with music, combined with visual, combined with um, aural is super powerful in just firing those synapses for kids and really helping them make connections. It's also super powerful to elongate those short vowel sounds since those can be really tricky to hear. Um, so you also have a QR code up in the corner. Kids can scan that, they can pop their headphones on and they can practice this independently. It'll take them right to the song on YouTube. It's also great for homework. If kids wanna take this home for a little extra practice, they can share this with their grownups and they can easily access the song. So here is the lesson plan itself. It's actually a PDF form, so you can go ahead and fill this out and save it. It's super handy. So you'll type in the week, whatever your specific goal is. And here, maybe you are honing in on a specific sound, like the ah sound. Um, you can take note of that here. Maybe you are also incorporating some sight word practice here too. The word and comes up a lot, the word says comes up a lot, and so you can just go ahead and type that in, click save, and you have it for your records. You also have a handy prep checklist. There isn't a lot to do, but you do need to print and copy the lyrics, pull up the video, uh, subscribe to my channel, and thank you. And gather highlighters or yellow crayons work really well. Basically any light colored crayon works well for highlighting. So as teachers, we have a lot of lessons to read through and interpret, and it is really simple, but since it's the first one, and since it can sometimes just be easier to watch a video than to read through and decipher, I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit. So Monday is an introductory day. You'll watch the video, get up and dance, move around. And then the second time you watch it, it's actually gonna be call and response. So you'll pause the video after each line and give the kids a chance to repeat. So that's just that extra practice slowing it down. That's it. You can watch it again, dance around. It's really introductory. The next day, you'll warm up by watching it again. At this point, it's getting stuck in your head. That's the point. And the next thing that you'll do is you'll display the PDF lyrics. You'll use your dot cam or your screen. It's whatever uh, works for you. Just make sure that you can still hear the music even though you're not actually watching the video. 
This time you are going to do that call in response where you pause after each line and repeat, but this time you're actually going to be following along and pointing under the words as you look at that PDF of the lyrics. Um, and there's that wavy line. Kids can just go ahead and sky trace that, if you will, sky writing, but it's sky tracing. Um, Wednesday, you're going to do that same thing again uh, where you're displaying the lyrics. The music is audible. This time, you can go ahead and prompt kids by saying, tap your head when you hear or see the ah sound. Or when you see and hear the word says, whatever it is, and you'll go ahead and, and write that in here. Um, you can call on one student at a time to come up and actually highlight on your computer program or um, on, on the sheet under your doc cam. Everyone else can highlight in their own individual copies. Or if you are not going to do that, you can just have them kind of highlight in the air as well. Um, the next day, you're going to repeat Wednesday's process, but with your other focus sound or your other sight word. If you don't want to do that, maybe you are only focusing on one specific thing. That's cool. Go ahead and move to Friday's plan. So on Friday, you are going to pause the video after the section that goes, A says A. Pause. Um, kids can be prompted to turn to a friend or call out or whisper to their thumb a word that has that long A sound. So they'll be like, brain. Cool. And then you'll go ahead and continue. And uh, pause. Kids can turn to a friend. They can generate a word that has the ah sound and so on. Um, then you can go ahead and have kids add their highlighted copies to their book baggies, their notebooks, their folders, whatever. Send it home for some really fun, simple homework that is age appropriate. Um, so there is that plan for you. You also have this Common Core Standards Checklist. I went through the kindergarten and first grade ELA standards, and I picked out the ones that would correspond with this lesson depending on your grade and how you're teaching it and how you're implementing it. So you'll go through and click whatever um, applies to your implementation of the lesson and of course whatever corresponds with your grade. This is also super nice because everything in purple is a live link. So if you need a refresher on those first grade standards or if you want to look specifically at this one, the link will take you straight there. Thank you for your purchase. Even though it wasn't a purchase, it was free. I'm really excited to share it with you. Um, this just kind of lets you know how you can share it. Uh, please tell your friends, send them to my store and stay in touch on social media. Let me know what you think and thanks for giving it a try. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.